everybody, Gameface here. And it seems that another week has just rolled by just like that. It's already over. And and I didn't even get a chance to blink. Um so let's talk about let's talk about that week. And let's talk about what we did. Um first off, of course, Dishonored 2. I played a lot of Dishonored 2 last week. That's maybe why last week seemed like there wasn't much going on was because I was playing Dishonored 2 all the time. I had three episodes of Dishonored 2 last week. There probably won't be three this week. Maybe two. But we'll just wait and see. Um, very good game. I'm really enjoying it. Um, the game itself. Um, I'm, I'm so glad that I played the first one. Because, again, I would be running through here um, playing so poorly, not knowing what the fuck I was doing, um, and, and, and things like that, if I wouldn't have gone through the first one, too. Um, so I'm really glad that I did that, and I'm, I think I'm enjoying this one a lot more because of it. Um, I'm doing a little more exploring, instead of, like, knocking, you know, I, I figure this is probably going to take twice as many videos as the first one. Um, I, I, I might not be exploring and getting everything, but I'm definitely finding ways to go through these missions without killing anybody. That's the my big thing, um, whereas in the last one, at times, I just went kind of wild. Um, so, really loving the gameplay of Dishonored 2. But on the other hand, it's a technical piece of shit. Like, it, it is so bad when it comes to the rest of it, um, that, it that it's a pain in the ass to even play. Um, so, for example, even just, just to play Dishonored 2 on my machine, I need to disconnect my main monitor, hook it up to where, where one of the prior, the secondaries are, disable that video card, um, and and yeah, I have to swap my I have to basically dismantle my monitor setup and and create a new new one because this these guys have written a game that basically just crashes when you try to play it on the secondary video video card. I think I think my I, I think my primary monitor is on my secondary video card. I don't know. I don't know. But it's really, really frustrating. Um, so, if for the other day's video, um, on Saturday, I, uh, I decided, okay, I'm going to just try running everything in maximum performance. SLI. That means basically taking my two Titan X's, running them as one video card to one monitor, and nothing else. That worked. And boy, did it look good. And boy, am I an idiot, because I didn't switch over my audio sources, and I ended up recording nothing for my audio, and had to use the audio from my camcorder. Which isn't absolutely awful, but it's awful. It's not absolutely awful. Um, so, first off, I apologize for the horrible audio. I shouldn't be such an idiot, and I should pay more attention to what I'm doing. But sometimes, you know, you're, you're into it for the game. That's, I think that's it. I'm into it for the game. So once the game gets going, I forget about everything else. Well, I guess I don't forget about everything else, or I would just sit here, here in silence playing a game. But but I think that that's the big thing. I, I let that happen because I wasn't paying attention. And, and again, it's a perfect candidate for happening right now. Uh, it's because when I use this microphone, I have to change everything over. And if I don't change everything back... Bad things happen. Okay, so I'm going to quit bitching now, and I'm going to get back to the games, the important thing. Um, did another episode of Aragami last week. I've actually already recorded this week's episode. Um, let's just say this week I'm changing things up a bit. We're not... Well, actually, I can talk about that. It's this morning's video. What am I talking about? Okay, yeah, so two episodes of Aragami last week. <laughs> um, the first one I, I snuck through, just as I always did. I ended up having to kill one person again. I haven't got through one of these things perfectly yet. I've always had to kill at least one person. And it's usually because I've gotten so far and somebody sneaks up to me and I don't want to just go back and do it all again. That's usually why. But this morning I said to hell with it. And I, I said, okay, I'm just going to start killing. I'm going to go with this stealth kill mechanism. Um, and I just went through and started killing things and it was fun and... I had a blast playing the game. I think that's probably more important than maintaining stealth throughout the whole thing, is having fun. 
and, and I'm 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 not in games in the games to be stealthy. I'm in the games for enjoyment, and um, I really actually enjoyed it a lot more. Though I did have some frustrating times with the uh, the Shadow Leap. Um, I'm finding it's inconsistent. Like five percent of the time, it doesn't do what you'd think it would do, or it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And I don't know if it's light levels causing that. You know, if you if you understand the game, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but you know how on one post you can get up to the top of it, and then on the next one you can't. It just will not give you the icon to jump up a uh, shadow leap onto the top of something. So it's very frustrating. Um, I guess I'll get over it by the time it's done. I think I'm about halfway through, but we'll just have to wait and see. I am having fun with it again. Don't get me wrong. The game is a blast. So, Battlefield 1. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. We've taken to the air. We're finally flying around and shooting people and bombing people from the air. Not people. Things. Anti-aircraft. Things like that. We're protecting bombers. We're taking out other aircraft. Um, by the time I was done playing last time, I was sort of getting the hang of it. The biggest thing, though, I have to say, is the controls. Um, I, I swapped out to the, uh, the uh, you know, the Xbox controller when I, when I played the, uh, the flight part of that. And I found they're just laid out weird, just absolutely wacky. The, the, instead of the acceleration being the, one of the acceleration buttons, um, it's the, the regular, what you'd use to move. And then what you'd use to move is actually the other stick. It's not the A stick, it's the B stick. Or not the left stick, it's the right stick. So that took me a real lot. That took me a lot to get used to. Um, though I did have about an hour of gameplay last time. A lot of it got cut out. I, I crashed. I, 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 I'm, uh, yeah, at first I sucked at it. Okay? I admit it. I wasn't the best. I'm still not the best. Not even close. Um, still kind of sucking at it, but I'm sure enjoying it a lot more. But yeah, Battlefield 1 is still still being very enjoyable. This is only the third campaign, so um, I'm probably going to do something about that early this week. We'll see. We'll see. I'm down to very few games. That's my biggest problem, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, Deus Ex. I went into Deus Ex. I hopped into a a vertebrate, a bird, flew somewhere, ran through a building, hopped into a vertebrate and flew back. That's what I did last time in Deus Ex. I'm, I've never, never in a video game seen such a substantial story told so poorly. Look, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Tell you the truth, they don't even make me care. Um, and I've played some games that tell stories very well. Um, and I've played some games that don't tell stories very well. This one is absolutely awful. Uh, one, it doesn't make you care. It doesn't care if you care. And two, it doesn't tell a story. It's sort of disjointed and piecework and... It's not consistent. It doesn't flow. And... It doesn't... It, that's what makes you come back to the game. I'm going to say that. What makes you come back to the game is a story. What it tells you. Not necessarily just the gameplay. Now I have had fun with the gameplay in Deus Ex. I have been frustrated with the gameplay in Deus Ex. It took me three videos, which was about three hours of gameplay, to do one level last time. And this time I just hauled through and did it in, well it probably still took me an hour, maybe a little less, maybe 50 minutes. But still, um, I enjoyed the gameplay, but when I walk away from it, I don't feel this draw to come back to it. And that's, that's one thing that, if you don't feel in a game, like, that's one reason I don't finish some games. I just don't feel the draw to finish it. And I wish Deus Ex would have that. Um, so I also played uh, an indie game called Think to Die. Um, cool little game. You got to figure out how to kill yourself and everybody else. Um, tricky game. Very tricky. I, I played, it was actually Think to Die 2. I played Think to Die. Think to Die was a lot easier. Think to Die 2 is actually really hard, um, and it's getting harder. So I'm probably going to try another video of that, and we'll see how we do. Um, but don't count on me being, like, awesome at it. I'm going to struggle through. 
I am going to struggle through. It is an awesome puzzle game. Um, and, you know, if, if you, that one actually you can check out a demo on, uh, from, uh, from uh, Game Jolt. There's a demo on Game Jolt. The game costs money, though, like $3, $4. It's not expensive. You can buy it from Game Jolt or Steam. Um, but, yeah, awesome game. Um, uh, game Jolt, speaking of Game Jolt, I've, I played a few games last week from Game Jolt. I played a game called, uh, there was the Asylum Jam 2016, where, where they, uh, basically you have 48 ra hours to write a game, it's a horror game. So, I played a couple of those. Um, one of them was called Lady Ice. It was kind of creepy. I, again, I didn't, I didn't get through it. I, did, uh, I didn't do too well at all, actually. I kept on getting caught by Lady Ice. Um, but basically, it's a nice jump scare game, and it gave me a few. It definitely gave me a few. Um, I never figured out the mechanics for it. I tried for about an hour uh, of getting caught over and over and over and over and over again, and just I just couldn't go on. I had to quit. Uh, but again, still a cool idea. Um, being as it was made in 48 hours, you know, obviously, they're going to be very minimal when it comes to depth, but this one was fun. The other one I tried was The Devoured Dead, and that one I did finish. I enjoyed that one, actually. Um, it, very, it was a H.P. Lovecraft-inspired story. Um, walking through a mansion, being told little bits of a story as you go through, and things become more and more horrific as you get further and further along. Um, and if you die, you become the devoured dead. Um, yeah, cool game. I, I hear that they've made some changes um, to it. Since I played more depth, a little more to the story, giving the characters some names, gives us a little more attachment to them. Um, but yeah, it, it was fun. There's lots of Asylum 2016 Jam games out there. Um, I think there's a whole section in Game Jolt. Um, I'm not going to play a lot of them. I don't know if I'm going to play any more at all. But I did enjoy the ones I did play. Um, so I also played a game called Jump. Um, it was just a little three-level... 8-bit style video game. This is kind of cool. Um, I really wish I would have figured out how to use the level editor, but I lost patience. You know, you know me and my patience. Just don't have a lot of it. It just poof, goes away. And anger! Um, not really. Not really. I don't get angry. I get frustrated. I get frustrated. Um, so, I, I, I did try out something completely different last week. It, it, it's a Google AI technology called QuickDraw. Or, or called Quick Draw, um, not Quick Draw. It's, it's like Quick Draw. There's a comma. But then again, they have a finger with a smoking. Kind of, never mind. Never mind. Um, it, it's really kind of cool. It was actually quite hilarious to play. Basically, you draw with your mouse. You know, just using your mouse, you draw on a, on a website, and the AI in the background tries to figure out what you're drawing. Um, it's not that it, it tries to figure it out. It actually tells you. It gives you a random thing to draw. And, and then it guesses as you draw it. It's actually quite amazing how accurate it is. Um, some things that I drew absolutely awful, it knew. And some things that I drew that I didn't think were awful, it had no clue. And I really loved when it said, I see asparagus. I even made that the title of my video. I laughed my head off. I don't know why it saw asparagus. I don't know. It saw asparagus. So, um, that that was last week. Not a lot. It, you know, I, I, not a lot. I, I, I said when I sat down here and, and went to write down the games, I think playing um, Aragami twice, and, and and Dishonored three times. It's probably eaten up most of the week. But, you know, expect more Dishonored coming up. I am really looking for more games. I'm, I'm kind of in a rut right now. I've got Aragami going on, um, Deus Ex, I'm looking at my game board here, uh, Dishonored 2, Battlefield 1. So there's four AAA games that I'm playing. I usually like to keep that at five or six. Um, and, and then No Limits 2, which I'm always playing. There might even be a new episode coming up this week. Chances are it's going to be the following week, though. And it's episode 50. Um, so, I, I'm looking for that new AAA game. I, I just can't 
break down and buy one though. It just, just all feels wrong. Um, and of course, I'm hitting Game Jolt and some of the other sites to see if I can find some reasonably good indie content. Um, I want more than these 15-minute games. I, I'm checking out another one. It'll probably be a video tomorrow, which, which should be more than 15 minutes long. Should be more than one video. That's a good thing. Um, again, it's unpredictable when you play these things. You don't know what you're going to get. But I, I, there were so many of them that were so awesome that go for it anyway. So I think we're going to leave this here. Um, i got to get back to the games. Today's first one is Dishonored 2, so I'm looking forward to it. So until next time, I'm Gameface. This was 7 Days. If you liked it, click the button, and don't forget to subscribe and share. I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Let's <laughs> go.